Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to talk about some very special event in the universe called a nova. And what are novas? Well, they have something to do with white dwarfs. Not all stars, when they become white dwarfs, that is the last page of their history book, so to speak. In some cases, some white dwarfs, when they're part of a binary star system, something else may happen. And let's take a look. So let's say we have a binary star system. Here's two regular stars. Let's say that this star is slightly bigger than this one. If it's bigger, it will spend less time on the main sequence. If it spends less time on the main sequence, it will become a red giant first. It will grow in enormous in size. And then, after a while, it will turn into a white dwarf, and this star will just continue being a very happy uh, main sequence star. But eventually, it will also become a red giant. And when it becomes a red giant, here's that small little white dwarf, very close to red giant. If the red giant becomes larger of in size, the outer layers become so close to that white dwarf. And remember, white dwarfs are very massive. They're very dense and very massive. And near the white dwarfs are very strong gravitational forces. And if the outer layers, and especially if the solar winds from this star, pass by the white dwarf, the gravitational force of the white dwarf will grab that material, and that material will be deposited on the surface of the white dwarf. Now, white dwarfs are very hot. Temp surface temperatures enormous tem uh, enormously high and when this hydrogen and helium mix and of course it'll be 75% hydrogen and 25% helium when that mix deposits itself on the white dwarf with that tremendous gravitational force and that very high surface temperature at times this hydrogen will reach temperatures greater than 10 million degrees Kelvin and when that happens the hydrogen will begin to fuse on the surface and that is not just a slow process that's almost like an explosive process all of a sudden all the hydrogen on the surface of the white dwarf will begin to fuse into helium very very fast when that happens there's an explosive increase in the luminosity of the star as much as 10,000 times the luminosity that was before and it will last them for about 50 days and then slowly fade off the uh, fade back off to its normal luminosity when all that fusion process stops. So that lasts for about 50 days until that process stops. So what is that then? Well, here's a white dwarf that is almost invisible to anybody because they're so small. Also with very strong, powerful telescopes, can you see white dwarfs? And so in antiquity, since there were not, no telescopes available, white dwarfs would not be available, uh, visible to people. And then when this event occurred, all of a sudden out of nowhere, the star would appear where no star was before. And it would be there for a number of weeks, then slowly the star would disappear and disappear from view. And so it was almost like there was a new star there where there was no new star before. And Nova is really a little translation for new or new star. So when they saw this new star, they say, oh, look there, there's a Nova. There's a new star there, and then it would disappear. And white dwarfs tend to do that, especially if they're near a, a red giant like this. It could do that repeatedly over a period of time. I don't know how much time is in between these events, but again, a white dwarf could do that repeatedly as it collects more and more material from the red giant right next to it, and then it, go, it can do that again and again and again over a period of 50 days. And of course, it could have hundreds if not thousands of years in between each of those events. But it's a spectacular event. Of course, that may lead to an even more spectacular event because remember, the mass of a white dwarf cannot exceed 1.4 times the mass of the sun. Because if it exceeds that 1.4 times the mass of the sun, the gravitational force will begin to win the war over the repulsive force of the electrons, the electron degeneracy. And when that happens, the whole white dwarf could collapse. So repeated no events could result in an event where the entire white dwarf may collapse from the in enormous gravitational force when it exceeds the ability for the electrons to withstand it when the mass exceeds 1.4 times the mass of the sun, also known as the Chandrasekhar limit. But until that happens, repeated no events will occur on those white dwarfs. In the case when it's part of a um, binary star system, the way I've depicted it here.